Okay, so let's have a refresher, or maybe this is all new to you, but I wanna show you guys how to use your containers um, simply by measuring and if you're making something that you can't really necessarily fit into your container. Like this bagel, you can't fit it. So we wanna find out what our equivalents are to our food containing to our containers. So what I have here is my breakfast. Um, the plan I'm using requires a lot of protein. So I have three sausage patties, two eggs, spit, uh, kale, and then a bagel. Now, how do I know which containers this, this is equivalent to? Well, this sausage, you can cut it up and you can put it in here, but because it's not fresh ground turkey or beef and it's made by process, it's just this Johnsonville turkey sausage, I have to look at the serving size on the back and go off of that. So, there's a horrible glare. <laughs> if you um, see, it's a serving size one patty. So I know that one patty is one protein. So just in my sausage, I'm supposed to have four proteins this morning. This is just my plan for the goals that I'm working towards right now. It is not normally like this. Um, my normal nutrition day is uh, five proteins in one day, not nine. <laughs> but one serving of protein per patty. So I have three proteins right here. Now, if you look on your, um, whether you got your 21 day fix book, or if you got a nutrition guide in your challenge pack, or maybe you got the all access on demand where everything is in a PDF on your website, they have a container equivalent measurements on your plan, which means when you have two eggs here that you can't necessarily put in your protein container, it has on your plan that two eggs is equivalent to one protein. So that is four proteins. Now your kale, I already pre-measured that in my green container and bagged it out. So I can just simply dump that in my skillet before I put my eggs on top of it. And the bagel, again, I'm going to resort to the serving size on the bag and that is a serving size one bagel. So this whole, this is a bagel thin. I would normally get whole wheat. This is just plain original regular. Um, but what you wanna pay attention to is the fiber. The total dietary fiber and the carbohydrates, okay? So there's 25 grams of carbohydrates. The dietary fiber is four grams. You wanna make sure that you have one gram of fiber per 10 grams of carbohydrates. So there is technically 20 grams to 10. So I should have two or more grams of fiber and there is four. So this is a great choice. And again, since it doesn't fit in your yellow container, you wanna resort to the starting size on the bag, which is one thin bagel. Now those big bagels, the ones that you get like at a bakery or you know the regular everything bagels they're great to have but you can only have a half a slice of those because if you look on the bag a whole big bagel serving would it be one whole bagel is two servings so that would technically equal two carbs which you can totally do but you have to make sure you count them so if you have four carbs total in your day and you have a whole bagel you're two containers of carbs are already taken care of. So you have only are allowed two more containers of carbs. Um, and again, butter for your bagel, totally okay. I normally get the um, pure Irish butter or the vegan um, butter, then just like non-GMO and made with olive oil. And that's when you resort to your teaspoon. So not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. You get, with your plan, you get so many teaspoons per day. I, right now, five, teaspoons a day. So I am going to put a teaspoon of butter on, I can't get it out, <laughs> on my bagel. Just a teaspoon. And that's okay. Right there. Perfect. It's not about restricting yourself 
um, and not eating the food that you do like. It's about just making sure that you're portioned and you're controlled because when we eat um, according to portions, we're getting exactly what our body needs. It is made to be exact because if we overeat, we're gonna stretch out our stomachs. And what's gonna happen is our next meal, we're gonna have to put that exact same amount of food in to reach your fullness or you're just gonna keep eating because you're not gonna be full and you're not gonna be satisfied. So when you can, when you combine all these containers and you measure them to be exact, your body's going to get the exact amount of food, nutri nutrients and proteins that it needs because your body can only um, digest so much protein. It only needs so much of that nutrients. The rest turns to fat. It goes to glucose and then it turns right to fat. So it's not even needed and it's being wasted and turning into fat. So that's why we don't want to overeat. That's another reason why we don't want to undereat because if we undereat and we eat another meal, then the next time we have a meal, we're going to stretch our stomach out and it's just going to be a cycle. So when you have your containers, make sure that you're using them. Make sure that you are looking at service sizing. Make sure you're looking at the measurements on your PDF. Um, calorie count or your um, food list of what your each food goes into your container. Make sure that you're following that and you're looking because that is going to what is going to give you your results. Your results are based in this kitchen. You can work out, but if you're not fueling your body properly and giving the foods that it needs, you're not going to get the results that you want. 80% of your results come from nutrition, comes from your kitchen. So these containers is what is going to make your results show. That's going to make your body thank you for putting this right amount of food in to fuel your body correctly, to get your metabolism rolling and to keep eating every two to three hours, to keep it going. Because when we sleep through the night, we're fasting. So when we put our first meal in, in that morning, it jump starts our metabolism, it gets going, and it's gonna burn calories throughout the whole entire day. So that's why these containers are very important. And like I said, I wanted to show you how you can use them without necessarily using them. If you're making something like meal prepping for the week and you have a egg bake and or egg muffins, and you don't know if you just put like a green pepper and a red pepper and 12 eggs in it, how do you measure? Well, what I do, is I have for right now I have four egg cups okay and I'll make 12 eggs there are 12 muffin pans in my muffin pan actually I'm gonna get it for you okay so if I have 12 muffins okay and 12 eggs go in here so we know that one egg is per container how many eggs make a protein two so two egg muffins makes one container of protein protein but what about your vegetable what I do is since I for this plan have to eat two proteins in the morning well four um, this will be one this will be two and then what I will do is I will split one fourth of a cup of vegetables in each hello <laughs> watch the wire in each cup so then that whole amount equals one cup of vegetable and that's how you can measure without using your tape containers if you're making something that cont contains a lot of ingredients Hi, you're, Lisa. Putting it, you're putting it together so i hope that is helpful i hope you can take that and use that and put it into everyday meals rather than just breakfast and really concentrate on using your containers all right we'll see you later